Hello out there. I am on the way uh, to get the battery preconditioning update done on my Hyundai Ioniq 5. So uh, let's see how that's gonna work out. I am on the way uh, to the dealership about uh, about 180 miles away. Unfortunately, my dealership here in Roswell uh, has been prohibited by Hyundai to even do software updates. Uh, they used to do them in the past. Uh, I've done uh, one update here on the Ionic uh, and several on the Kona that I had before here in Roswell, um, but apparently they have been or something by Hyundai uh, so they cannot do uh, these kind of things anymore. I've read online a little bit. Uh, a couple people have done the update already and um, they are reporting that um, the update works obviously but uh, there's some issues with the um, eco mode uh, being eco-ish, uh, meaning uh, less acceleration uh, and things like that, uh, less responsive. Um, I've been driving in eco mode uh, for a little bit um, this morning. Uh, as usual, uh, it is still kind of response or quite responsive, uh, almost like normal mode. Um, the, in the beginning it reacts slower. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how most uh, people are used to it as well, uh, just like I am. Uh, normally I mostly use it on longer trips um, and uh, on local trips I always use normal mode, um, but uh, just to get uh, used a little bit to the feeling I drove in Eco this morning. Uh, and then after the update we'll see uh, what the changes are. So, um, with the update, um, I was kind of bummed uh, because there's no way for me to check if it's actually working. Uh, because of the few um, DC fast chargers that are in this area here, they're all pretty new. And they're not in the uh, navigation system of the um, Ionic 5. So, um, I can't really test it, it's kind of annoying. Um, and the other day we, we did a trip up here into the mountains where I'm going right now uh, to get to the dealership in Las Cruces. Um, and uh, the chargers are not in there. So um, there's a new DC fast charger here at a casino in the mountains. Um, so I decided the other day I'm gonna put these chargers into the map, uh, so the map and soft uh, website uh, that uh, the company that does the maps for the Hyundais. Uh, I added all these chargers in that are in New Mexico, and so, but there is no map update until whatever next year sometime, right? So. But, just out of curiosity, I just tapped on the navigation system and looked for chargers along the route and, surprisingly, the charger at the casino shows up. So, uh, I put in another destination um, further up north in Klein's Corners along I-40 and um, that's a charger that I just put in there the other day and it shows up as well. So apparently um, these chargers are added um, on the fly, like the connected routing. Um, these chargers are now showing up here even though I have not done a map update since. So that's awesome, 
great news. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, it's amazing to me, and I love it. Uh, and on the way back, because I'm driving past that DC fast charger at the casino here, I will be able to check if the preconditioning works. Uh, the battery shouldn't be too warm, hopefully. Uh, I will have to charge before that um, in Las Cruces, and hopefully the battery is not getting too warm and maybe cools down again on the drive up here because it's only six degrees Celsius, uh, so that's about uh, 70 low 70s, 73 or something uh, degrees Fahrenheit um, out here and unfortunately it's very windy we sometimes on top of the mountains here we get winds uh, in excess of 50 miles an hour um, so I will have to charge before that but hopefully I can test it and hopefully uh, the battery is going to be cool enough so that I uh, can actually see the battery preconditioning in effect. So I got to the uh, Casino Apache um, Casino gas station and yeah, I guess you can't see it but um, a charge point DC fast charger. It's only a 50 kilowatt charger uh, but I, I'm gonna stop really quick um, use the bathroom uh, and charge a little bit. Um, right here it's not windy because we're in a little bit of a valley here uh, but coming up the hill or up the mountain uh, I had some pretty stiff headwinds um, so my buffer went down from 50 miles at first to now 15 miles to uh, get uh, to Las Cruces to the dealership so I'm just gonna plug in, use the bathroom, uh, get some water and uh, then head on just a really, really quick stop but um, yeah so it's in the navigation system so uh, on the way back we'll see how that works uh, so I just arrived at uh, the Hyundai dealership here in Las Cruces and uh, so I'm gonna check in here in just a few minutes uh, hopefully get the update done uh, pretty quickly and then uh, I'm gonna have to charge and get home again. Unfortunately, about 50 kilowatt is the maximum I can get, uh, so it's gonna take a little while. But um, uh, that's New Mexico. So uh, I just did a little bit of a uh, zero to 40 acceleration test with the uh, car scanner app before I got the update, and then I'm gonna do the same after the update and see if there's a significant uh, difference so um, the dealer is on a bigger uh, road so I was able to do a there was no traffic so I was able to just stop on the road and do a 0 to 40 uh, like I did before uh, so um, comparing those numbers mm, is a big difference uh, before the software update um, the 0 to 20 was 2.19 seconds and after the update 0 to 20 is 4.09 seconds so almost twice as long the 0 to 40 time it was 4.47 seconds and now it's 7.66 seconds so mm, less than uh, less than not quite a little bit under two times uh, or twice as long uh, also uh, you can definitely feel it uh, the power gets faded in a lot slower uh, than before okay uh, quick update here oh I just got onto the highway plume of exhaust, diesel exhaust gases we just all had to drive through, yum. Um, so I'm on the highway now and it's interesting that um, once you're at speed and you push down the accelerator, 
pedal, it actually goes like it did before. So it seems like that slow mapping is only at lower speeds, um, kind of from a standstill or, or at least slower speeds. Uh, now I'm at uh, 60 miles here and I'm going 60 miles and uh, now the speed limit is going up so if I push it I, the power is there pretty much immediately just like it was before in eco mode I'm still in eco mode so that's interesting so I am not quite at the casino but uh, I'm driving through Alamogordo right now or getting into Alamogordo there is a DC fast charging station here too um, which I just plugged in and I got a little snowflake on the battery in the dashboard and also going to the energy information screen uh, battery care is pulling 4.3 kilowatts right now so it is definitely uh, warming up the battery and let's see if we can see anything in the OBD uh, we can see battery minimum temperature is 19 Celsius, uh, maximum is 27 Celsius, and the battery heater is at 33 Celsius. So, um, yeah, it's definitely warming the battery. It's working. So I'm back on the road. I didn't charge much uh, here in Alamogordo because um, the charger is kind of expensive. Um, so, yeah, I uh, might stop, uh, probably have to stop at the casino uh, for a few minutes uh, to be able to make it home. Um, but uh, the most important thing is the battery preconditioning works. Um, I definitely saw an increase in battery uh, temperature, uh, cells and uh, pack and uh, everything. So uh, that is amazing, I like it, um, everything seems to work fine, so thumbs up. It's about a week later now and in the meantime I've seen online a few people talking about the loss of power in eco mode and uh, they were saying that if you turn off the battery preconditioning in the car where the window mode used to be, uh, the acceleration is better. I tried that on my car and I cannot replicate that. So uh, for me, the eco mode is uh, what it is, uh, a little slower than usual. Uh, so I don't know, your mileage may, may vary. So anyways, I hope the video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye. So the battery update um, recall software. It's about we, it's about a. Hey guys, hi, hey buddy, hi buddy. Good boy, you're a good boy, you're a good boy. Yes, oh, sweet dog, oh yes, such a sweetie, yes, yes. oh, such a good boy.